You have a call. Thank you for calling Internal Revenue Service. How can I help you? Yes, I was just talking to a, a man. I don't know what his name was, but uh, we, I was giving him my address, and all of a sudden the phone disconnected. I was trying to find out right. why you guys called me. All right. Uh, the, uh, when did you receive the phone call? About an hour ago. Okay, so uh, do you get any information? Do you get his name or uh, the one who's speaking with you is he or she? No, I, I didn't get his name because I was giving my address and my name and then he said he was going to check in on that and then it disconnected, so no, I didn't. All right. So this is the investigation department of IRS, all right? All right. Tax Investigation Department of IRS. Okay. So, uh, can I have your first name and last name, sir? Yes, my first name is Brandon. Can you spell it? Yes, I can. It's B R A N D O N. Okay. Uh, can you spell it slowly? B R A. Okay, it's B R A N. Mm -hmm. D O N. Mm -hmm. My last name. D O S. Yeah. Brabos, Brabos. Brandon, yes. Okay, my last name is Fox. F O X. Okay, F O S. X, yeah, X ray, yeah. F O S. It's it's F O X. All right, Fox. Yes, that's it. Okay, what is your first name? B R A S B O S, right? It's B R A N D O N. Okay, can you repeat once more? B R A. Okay, it's B R A D O. In. All right. Are the clocks all right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you worry for your address? Yes, I can. That is one, four, mm -hmm. six. Sorry. Sorry. Can you repeat again? It's one, four, six, mm -hmm. zero. Ladybug. Uh, your voice, your, sir, your voice is breaking off, so I can hear properly. So, okay. can you repeat again? Yeah. Can you hear me better now? Yes. Okay. It's four. It's one four six zero. One four six zero. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ladybug Drive. Sir, uh, lady. Yeah. Okay, park track. No bug. B U G. B U G. Yeah. Drive. Okay. New York. New York. Zip code is Drive. one zero zero hold on one. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Ladybug Street. Drive. D R I V E. Okay, drive. New York. New York. Okay. One zero 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 one. What is the zip code? Zip code is one zero mm -hmm. zero mm -hmm. zero one. Okay, one zero 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 one, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, thank you for providing me the information. Uh, do you have pen and piece of paper with you? Yes, I do. Okay. Write it down. My name. My name is Officer Jenny Valen. Okay. And my page ID number is five seven three two five zero. Oh. Five seven two five zero. Oh. Five zero. Oh. Okay. Yes. And your case CC number is six three five three. Six three. Say that again. Five three. Five three. Your case CC. Yes. Yes. Six three five three. That is your case CC number. So let me explain. You listen carefully. All right. Okay. We call you to ascertain your attorney's information that there is a legal allegation and a lawsuit has been filed against you by the Internal Revenue Service. 
So are you in a very important situation? No. No, I'm not. Okay. Okay. So I just go ahead and read out the legal charges against your name. Before I do that, do not interrupt me. I will give you a fair time to speak, all right? Okay. As per the, as per the documentation, we contacted an audit on your tax file for the year of 2013 to 2017, and we found there was a miscalculation error for the taxes file does not match the record that we have. So according to section 7201, the amount is still outstanding on your name, which you have not filed, and for that reason, the local authorities with arrest warrant will come at your place. The travel license will be canceled, everything under your name, your property, your bank account will be seized, and you will also face the future imprisonment for up to five years. Now, the total amount outstanding on your name is $7,731, which includes your banking taxes, legal charges, and lab fees. Now, may I ask you, did you do this intentionally or by mistake? It was uh, by mistake. Mistake. Because I oh. have a uh, oh. accountant that does my taxes, and he didn't say anything right. to me. Okay, let me explain. So, uh, you have two options left with you, sir. First option, that is you can hire a criminal attorney for yourself and come down to the federal courthouse of Washington, D.C., and you can fight this case against the Internal Revenue Service. But make sure your attorney should be capable of fighting the case against the uh, government. If you lose this case, you have to pay the fine amount of $30,000. And second option, that is, you can simply pay the money to the IRS and you can resolve this case outside of the courthouse. So, which option do you want to go for? Well, I would rather pay it and, and try to get out of it that way than going to the courthouse because that's, that's a mess. So, what are you going to do right now, sir? I, I want to pay it. I, I, want to, I want to solve it that way. I want to fix it. All right, so if you want to resolve this case, do you have sufficient amount to available to pay the money to today? Not really. What I got is like 2000 All right, your amount is uh, $7,731, and at, uh, you have cash with you or at your account? Uh, that's a lot of money to have on me. I got it in my uh, checking accounts where I got it. Now, I got a debit uh, debit card that's linked up to it. I can use that. All right. All right. So how much amount do you have right now? On my debit card, I got 2000 I can use that right now. All right. All right. So if you want to resolve this case, let me transfer to my higher authorities because I'm not an authorized person to resolve this case outside of the courthouse. So please don't hang up the line, all right? All right. Um, hold on, all right? All right. Hold on, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you for holding the line. Your call has been transferred to me. My name is Lisa Franklin. How can I help you? Yes. Um, I just got done talking to a lady that um, was telling me everything and she uh, transferred me to you um about paying it because i want to okay. pay it all right so first of all sir can i can i have your first name and last name yes my first name is brandon and my um, last name is last fox name? i'm sorry can you spell it out your last name sir yes my last name is f o x fox uh -huh. okay and your first name is brandon right Yes. R A N D O N. Yep, you're right. Correct. Okay. All right. And can I have with your residing address? Yes, I'll give that to you again. That yes. Is, that is one four six zero. Mm -hmm. Ladybug Drive, New York, New York. Mm -hmm. One zero 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 one. All right. So thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Uh, so I believe, sir, the officer, uh, she already explained it to you what is this all about and what is going on. Am I correct? Yes, but I, I didn't really understand it because I didn't get anything in the mail. And usually I get okay. something in the mail if I owe someone like that. 
That's what I'm trying to figure out, is why you guys didn't send me anything. All right. Okay. But, um, sir, out here we are contacted to you just be, um, because there is a lawsuit has been filed against you and there is an arrest warrant has been active into your name. All right? All right. And before we make this phone call to you as well, we already tried to notify you twice by sending you the documentation at your mailing address. Okay. I... But twice the documentation has been bounced back to us stating that you are not available at your home to put a sign signature on it or to receive those documentation. Mm -hmm. And as well as those documentation, it is a very confidential letter. So we cannot leave into your mailbox or to anybody else rather than you because we need your sign signature, right? Right, right, yeah. Can you... Yes. Can you... And those... Do and those documentation, it's a very confidential letters of yours, so we cannot leave into your document, into your mailbox, or to anybody else rather than you. Right, right. So we left a yellow note. We left a yellow note stating that please collect your package from your local post office, but we don't get any response oh. from your end. So the IRS thinking that you are running away from the situation, you are trying to defraud the government. Perhaps they find a lawsuit against your name. Yes, I did get a piece of paper from the uh, post office telling me to pick up something, and I haven't done it. Mm -hmm. Was that it? Yes. Whoa. Okay. So, uh, at this moment, sir, I just want to know from your end that what are you willing to pay? Well, I, I'm willing to pay 2000 of what I owe, which it was 7000 and some. That's all I got is 2000 right now. Okay, you, you have only 2000 right now? Yes. Okay, so can I know, sir, that where do you have it? I mean, to so say, do you have a time of cash with you or you have in your bank account? Well, that's a lot of cash to be uh, carrying around, so no. I got it in my checking account, which is linked up to my debit account. So you got it in your checking account, right? Right. Okay. All right. And uh, this is your cell phone number or your home phone number, sir? This is my uh, cell phone number. It's the only number I got. Oh, let me do one thing for you, sir. Let me forward this confirmation of yours to my higher authority. And let me transfer your call to my uh, accounting department. So they will let you know what you uh, have to do, okay? Okay, thank you. I do appreciate that. All right. Just hold on for a moment. Don't disconnect this line, okay? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for holding the line. Your call was transferred to the accounting head. This is the accounting head officer. My name is Dexter Cruz. Your call was transferred for the result, man. Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Your call was transferred to me, Mr. Fox. Right. Uh, so, uh, how much the amount that he was able to come up with? Um... Out of the 7000 I was able to come up with, by what I was looking online on my banking account, was 2000 okay. That's all I got. Okay. That's all you got. Okay, just for the verification, uh, can you just, uh, just be honest to me so that you won't face any trouble in future? Uh, just answer my questions. How many bank accounts do you have? I only got one. How many bank accounts? One. One. And how much do you have in your savings? How much do you have in your checking? Checking, I got two thousand. I have no savings. Okay, you have no savings. And do you have a credit card under your name? No credit cards. No credit cards. No. Okay, sir. Uh, this is Brandon Fox. Right. All right. So here, Mr. Fox, at this point of time, we are not giving you a flat exception that you can pay and you can resolve the matter. But yes, we will be giving you a conditional exception where these conditions are provided by the jury members. If you can able to follow those conditions then and then only, the jury members and the court will be helping you outside of the court by giving you a chance and opportunity to pay this $2,000 and put a hold on your case. And rest of uh, $5,731, it will be generated an installment payment where you have to pay in a monthly basis the amount that you can afford it. Okay. Okay, so let me go ahead and give you those conditions first. You listen to the conditions, and after that, we will discuss about this matter. Okay. All right? All right, so the first condition given to you is 
as we have one hour and 30 minutes to activate the case, if you're willing to come up with the $2,000, you have mm -hmm. to deal within this one hour and 30 minutes. Okay. The second condition is the privacy policy. What is this privacy policy means? That has been, uh, there is a tax fraud investigation and we have found more than 30,000 taxpayers who is trying to defraud the government intentionally. Most of the taxpayers, they're trying to fraud with the government intentionally, but the favor we are helping you, that does not mean we are helping each and everyone. We're only helping those people, those who are innocent. Mm -hmm. So at this point of time, we are only giving chance to those people, those who are innocent. And around this 30,000 taxpayers, it could be anybody around you. It could be your family members. It could be your neighbors, co-workers, colleagues. It could be anybody around you. And if anybody comes to know that we are helping you and we are not helping others, it will be injustice. And if anybody register a complaint against this case, we would have to terminate your options and frankly, we have to arrest you for this. So what we exactly want you to do, Mr. Fox, unless until the case gets resolved, you have to keep this matter confidential. You are not allowed to disclose this matter with anyone. You're not allowed to involve any other third person or even your family members in this case. It should be between you and our department. Okay. All right? All right. The third condition is the payment. That right now, as there is a tax fraud investigating going on, you are not allowed to deal with the situation directly through your bank, neither through a check, nor providing any of the personal information over the phone call. Because right now, each and every asset, whatever you have on the internet, it is, has been traced by the federal government. So at this point of time, the duty members are giving you a different mode of payment, which payment mode is used for those people, those who does not have any banking details. Those who does not have any banking details, but they need to load their tax, what they do here, they used to purchase electronic vouchers. These electronic vouchers are able, able to the nearest affiliated stores. They need to register with the IRS. With the help of that voucher, they go to the physically IRS building and submit the voucher. So at this point of time, you have to follow this electronic payment procedure, which is known as electronic federal tax paying system. These vouchers are very likely like a debit card, but this voucher will not contain any of your personal information. Only the money will be loaded on the voucher and we will get a physical access in this voucher. So here, let me explain you that. Once you purchase the voucher, the store people will load the money for you. After they load it, you have to do the registration on those vouchers and the registration will be done by me. You have to help me with the registration code with the help of that registration code, I will be able to register it under your name. Once the registration gets done, we will be able to release the documentation from the code and we have to resend those documents to you with a legal advisor. A legal advisor is gonna visit you at your mailing address with the documentation, giving you all the information and details about this case and asking you for the voucher. So you have to hand over those vouchers to that officer when the officer will come and visit you with the documentation. At this point of time, you are not paying anything. You are simply giving us a trust that you have a genuine intention to resolve the matter. Because evidence speaks more louder than the words. We cannot simply trust in your words. So you have to show your good faith by loading the amount in the tax paying voucher. The tax paying vouchers is very trackful voucher where the duty members will track those vouchers to see whether you have loaded the money or not. Okay. So the fourth condition is this. The lines which we're talking right now, it is federally monitored and recorded line. And this recording will serve as an evidence behalf of you in front of the justice, in front of the duty members to make you innocent in front of them that you have a genuine intention to resolve this matter. So at this point of time, you are not allowed to hang up this line till the time the case gets resolved. And I, I provide you with the reference number of your case. Mm -hmm. You have to keep this line open. You cannot put me on mute. You cannot put me on hold. You have to keep the line open. And in order to pay this outstanding debt, two thousand dollars, you have to go outside. So we, I will be connected in with you in your cell phone. So I believe that right now we are connected in your cell phone. Yes. Right. All right. So can you see the battery percentage? Like, what is the battery status in your cell phone? How much the charge charges remaining? It's at ninety uh, percent. 90%? Okay, yeah. that's enough. And which bank do you bank with, sir? Mr. Fox? Um, 
It's um, citizens. Okay, and how far is your bank from your place? Well, it's about uh, 25 minutes from my house. It's driving 25 minutes? Yeah. Okay. All right, but so sir, I, here, without what, yes? Are you telling me to go to the bank? Yes, you have to go to your bank first, and you need to withdraw the money for $2,000. Uh, you I got a debit card, so I don't bank. have to go to the bank. That's why I got a debit card. But you cannot use it. In order to convert that money, you have to get the money in cash. Why can I not use it? Because the store will not accept the debit card. That's why. You well, need what to get store? the money in cash. What store do I have to go to? I will let you know. Help me with your zip code. Okay, my zip code is one zero 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 one. A few seconds. Okay. Yeah, I should be able to use it. All right, sir, you there? Yes, I am. Okay, here, as I told you, that you have to purchase electronic vouchers. Right. So you have to visit an Apple store. Because here, this Apple store, like Apple company, is an electronic company. And also, we have a collaboration with the Apple company, not only with Apple company, okay, with Apple, Microsoft, Dell, Google. These are the huge, big companies and very trustful company. So we have a collaboration with these electronic companies, and this company has provided this kind of voucher. So at this point of time, the update that I got mm -hmm. is from the higher authority, that is, huh? that you have to visit Apple Store, which is in 401 West 14th Street, New York, New York, 10014. Yeah, right, I know where that's at. But why do I have to go to the okay. Apple Store to pay my taxes? That I don't get. not paying your taxes. You're not paying any taxes. Back the taxes. Apple Store. I am paying something because you're gonna you're gonna have me pick up something that's gonna cost me money. Yes. But, <laughs> sir, if you are not willing to pay and also you want to resolve the matter, how it is possible? You need to purchase from the Apple Store Apple Store card, and you need to load the if money I, on the Apple Store card. If I gotta get an card Apple iTunes to... card or an Apple whatever, it's gonna cost me. No, so I'm paying it. No, it's not iTunes. It is not iTunes. Okay. Yeah, and then I, give you the, uh, I give you the, the number Apple on the back of the card. card, so I'm giving you money, so I'm paying for something. You're not giving any personal information, you have to keep no, those vouchers No, no, I'm not, you but you're walking off with $2,000 that uh, I should be giving to you in the first place, because what I see on this um, website here, that I can pay my bill right on the uh, IRS website, so why should I pay you when I could pay it here? And it's showing, it's okay, showing I owe nothing. You can do that. Go ahead, go ahead and do that, okay? It's Come showing I owe you. nothing, you big fat scammer. Stop nothing. scamming people. You Shut your fucking mouth. Fuck you, asshole. Stop scamming. Fuck you, asshole. I'm getting sick of you fucking idiots. <laughs>